Hey, welcome to the Android channel and today we will show you how to install on your Android device the XBMC Media Center. Um, if you have an Android device and want to have access to a lot of content, much more content than a regular Android devices already have, one of the great features of the Android world is the fact that you can install the XBMC, which is basically an X, it's like an Xbox Media Center. And uh, what's cool about that is you can add a lot of content to it. And so um, you can view much more online videos, music, also stream more easily through your own network on your uh, Android devices. Uh, I have this dongle. Uh, this is an Android Android dongle that I've installed on this TV. Uh, basically cheap 50 bucks uh, mini Android PC that I reviewed on this channel if you want to see what it is. What's cool is that I've installed on it uh, XBMC. And so how do you install that on an Android device? It's available for almost any devices. So if you have an Android phone and you want to have access to more content over your phone, uh, then um, you'll have to go, first of all, to the uh, with your browser, go to the xbmc.org website. You see the address here at the top of the screen on the left? So xbmc.org slash download. There you'll have the uh, latest release of XBMC for Windows, Linux, uh, OS X, so for your Mac, and for Android. So um, you also have iOS, uh, ATV, and uh, Raspberry Pi. So you've got many versions. Uh, almost every device is supported for this website. Now, um, the XBMC for iOS, there's a little, if you have an iPad or an iPhone and you're watching this, keep in mind that your iPad or iPhone device will have to be jailbroken. You cannot install XBMC on an unjailbreak device. So uh, you have to jailbreak your iPad, uh, like I did. I, I did jailbreak my iPad and installed XBMC um, for um, better content on uh, the web. So you have to, uh, all you have to do is click your uh, device. It will download a package that you click on. Once the package is downloaded, all you have to do is click on it and install XBMC on your device. So it's really something that you get over the web uh, on the xbmc.org website. That's the first thing you need to do. Um, then when it's installed, you'll have that round, almost egg-shaped XBMC icon. If you click on it, you'll uh, be greeted to the XBMC uh, website. Um, this is Frodo, XBMC version 12.2 at this time. All you have to do is find stuff. So if you want to add some new stuff, um, okay, if you want to add some new stuff, what you do is, for example, in the video section, you go into add-ons. Here I have some add-ons of my own that I installed that I can see, which is pretty cool. But you can also add new stuff. So if you want to add more stuff to the add-ons, you'll simply um, go and click view list and start looking at everything that is available on the uh, on the site. So there's a lot of add-ons that you can add to the XBMC website. That's one thing. Um, so keep in mind that you can view in different uh, versions and you can download much more content if you want uh, on the XBMC website. So basically 
the video portion will let you either choose files if you have an external hard drive attached or a USB key for example. You can make playlists, video add-ons of course that you can add and add and add so many. Um, I don't remember how many add-ons there were available but uh, when you uh, actually want to add stuff uh, you really really have lots of content available for um, the XBNC as, as you add the items they will show up as icons or as a list and you can of course click the get more and check for whatever you want to have so here you see there are 16 pages 215 items so you go through the pages and see what you might find interesting if you're not sure you can click on something like TMZ for example it tells you what it is celebrity gossip entertainment if you want to add it you just click the install button uh, sorry I just kind of uh, clicked in the wrong place and so you just click install and it installs in your list of favorite apps um, or add-ons for video so uh, it is interesting I think it where it's worth to the uh, download and the install stuff uh, and check for everything what you install is already uh, sent to you and says enable if you want it more then you just click for example I want daily motion all I'll do is click daily motion I'll click install and here it downloads the uh, package that will be added to your XBMC device and once you're there well you can just go to your add-ons and uh, let's for example go and see um, daily motion here it is just click on your added device it gives you information about how it's going to be treated the uh, maximum resolution of videos and stuff then click OK and then you'll have favorites channels you'll just choose whatever you want so let's go to channels for example here uh, okay news best rated today and it's going to show up a list of stuff when available lots of the stuff you know aren't necessarily always available and here you go so what all you have to do is click a video on the list and uh, as soon as the streaming starts you start viewing those videos online so here it says on the top it's buffering so you have to just keep it uh, going and as soon as the buffering is uh, good enough and everything depending on the Android device you're using here we go we have the video that just starts playing uh, as soon as you want some content takes longer than others to actually uh, download so that's one thing that you need to be careful um, it's not always uh, good streaming content but there's so much stuff that you can add here uh, that's what makes this uh, XBMC media player so cool another thing that you can actually do is uh, have different add-ons that are not in a list here but that will be available for um, download so here you can actually go back and get other stuff if you want so if I go back to the home for example here go to add-on and what's cool is you see that the video the last video is playing in the background and stuff like that um, one of the features that a lot of people want to um, add in uh, XBMC um, is the um, little plugin that's available that's called um, here we'll go and uh, put it as a uh, little list here um, One of the things that a lot of people want to add uh, to the HBMC uh, Media Center um, is the fact that you can actually get one of the uh, 
outside apps that will actually let you view, um, unfortunately, most of the time, illegally, uh, the latest movies and stuff. I don't encourage this 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 um, kind of viewing. Most of the stuff here is pretty cool, anyways. And if your device fast enough, most of the streaming will be in HD. So uh, by you know, if you can send it on a an HD TV like here, it's pretty cool because you'll be uh, able to. So you see here, this is the kind of stuff that you can see all sorts of video. Um, pretty cool. Go and get this. If you have an Android device, I really, really want you to get this because it really adds a lot to your uh, Android device. You can stream pictures, um, you can add sources, so if you have your local drive with pictures or network, uh, you can stream and uh, have all the pictures. Um, there's a weather app, all you have to uh, add is your local um, place, so here it says Montreal, you don't want Fahrenheit, light rain shower and stuff and you got the weather uh, which is pretty cool also and uh, music of course if you have a music, uh, some music on your device you can add different sources of music you can browse a network attached drive and stream music throughout your programs you can install also and um, Android apps and uh, program add-ons. Uh, for example, I was talking about illegal movie. Navi X is one of those things that check basically um, tries to uh, get you into the uh, latest movies and stuff. But it's basically pretty much um, illegal if you want uh, my two cents worth but hey if you like movies um, it can be interesting and the latest releases of Navi, Navi X it is kind of a little uh, difficult to uh, really get movies and stuff uh, it seems that all the sources are pretty much gone uh, so there hasn't been too much available but uh, if you uh, when I try to stream some movies through your Android device, uh, you can check it out. So, uh, XBMC, great, great, great free uh, media program for your Android device. I really, really think you should get this. I think it's one of those apps that is really, really uh, important and nice to um, to get and uh, so many options uh, it's really a nice media center if you enjoy our videos please click the subscribe button and you'll be informed of new videos are online if you have any comments or questions uh, then let us know and um, maybe you have questions about XBMC maybe you have Android questions that you'd like us to talk about let us know we'll try to uh, put those videos online and, uh, and we'll try to reply to any questions you might have and uh, as for this channel we're getting uh, slowly uh, more and more videos and we'll try to post videos every week so that uh, this becomes one of those great channels where you can go to if you need help or have uh, want to learn how to use your Android devices uh, to the maximum so thanks for watching and uh, Hope uh, you come back to this Android channel. Bye-bye.